So some of you have already seen the actual MOOC uh, in the other hall, and we'd like to enjoy and have fun with the MOOC, and I am a practitioner of MOOC myself. Initially, we planned for uh, graduate courses uh, uh, for a kind of the layman to the primatology. In a way, I made uh, too difficult a question, and I was uh, scolded that I was uh, asked, why don't you make an easier uh, question? Well, actually, I am not a fan of the online classes. I was opposing that. Uh, but why you change your attitude or posture in the other direction? There were two triggers, because I assumed the office of the president. In April, there was the uh, university president meeting in Hamburg, in Germany. I participated in that, uh, and there were participants from four continents of the world. Not the one coming from the Earth Radio, though. The president of the universities of four continent uh, got together and had the free discussion. What is the university education is all about? And I was so impressed that uh, uh, the idea was the idea that the uh, education should be provided equally, impartially, uh, wherever you are living in the U.S. or uh, in the France, anywhere you live. We have to be participating in university education uh, equally. Uh, although you have got enough budget or the level of education around you is not high, you are not uh, able to access to the uh, most advanced level of education. That is not good, especially uh, the president of the University of South Africa asserted that equality of access to the education very strongly. That impressed me. And I noticed that online classes are the one which respond to that needs because this is uh, distributed free of charge. And uh, if you have internet access, you are able to access to the content of the education anywhere you are in, in the grove. Normally, we are paying the tuition fee to uh, listen to the lecture, and the part of the lecture uh, should be known to the world population. So we are working in the national uh, public university, and we should be more awakened to that needs. And from 2008 to 2012, and I was serving as the chairman of the International Society of Primatology. And at that time, I had the chance to discuss with the primatologists of the world. And uh, so what kind of academic meeting are uh, having in their home country? And what kind of lectures they are giving in the university? And the concept of polymetology is originated from Japan, which is not well known, I've found out. And the Western scholars well know that, but uh, especially in a developing country where the, uh, the primates are living, does not know that the polymetology originated in Japan. Uh, basically, uh, most of the academia are, are coming from Western countries, but the academia uh, uh, which is originated in Japan is not uh, well exported to the world. And primatology's basis is established in Western countries. However, uh, from, in a way, uh, Japanese uh, way of uh, thinking to trace the origin of uh, primates uh, or the uh, human society, uh, to the primate is very much originated in Japan, but it is not well known to the world. And I thought it is necessary to disseminate that fact or truth to the world. And uh, uh, students who are interested in the primatology is entering Kyoto University and listen to the live lecture. But I thought it'll at least the essence of that should be known to the world. And. Uh, Utilizing MOOC, what I wanted to do was, well, uh, I'd like to create a kind of a, a sort of a startup or inspiration of the uh, the study, academic study, which is originated in Kyoto in Japan, and uh, taking advantage of the merit of the online education, which is a visual one, the visual message. 
through online. And uh, the lecture should not be just one person unilateral lecture, but uh, having a lot of examples and cases and inclusive of a, a colleague professors uh, to participate, to solicit the participation of the audience. In a way, online is a bit uh, unilateral one, but uh, we wanted to make more interactive. Uh, we will be giving by some of us and the receiving end also. Uh, there are se several uh, young scholars, and they are answering the questions from the audience. And uh, in our interactive manner, we'd like to deepen the content. Uh, and this lecture could be one of the common assets amongst uh, the group of us. So uh, when I started out, I really thought that could, should be the essence. And I had uh, lots of mistakes and difficulties and problems. And there were lots of revisions and uh, modifications. I had a lot of troubles anyway. But uh, uh, seeing the reactions to a MOOC, uh, I thought the participation was very active and enthusiastic. That was good. In a way, we are linking to the world. We are connecting to the world. That's the feeling I really uh, get it. And uh, uh, I hope that the many world audience will share that same feeling. That is the purpose of a MOOC. Well, it seems that I'm speaking a good thing about a MOOC only, but uh, from now in symposium, uh, we would like to entertain the better discussion of the MOOC for the future. Uh, one thing, the uh, Evolve, the word evolve should not be used in such a way. Evolution is a kind of biological term. But the notion of evolution is uh, should be uh, well rooted in society and develop something else. That's good. That means the notion of evolution is well propagated in the, in the society. But uh, anyway, I have uh, a kind of excuse and a collection. That's all. Thank you.